Are you looking for an experienced and knowledgeable real estate broker who's going to have your back? Then stay tuned for this episode of Real Estate Talk with Tisha. Welcome back to Real Estate Talk with Tisha. So today we're gonna switch it up a little bit from our typical educational format so that in this episode, I can give you a little bit of insight into who I am and how and why it is I came to do what I do. So who is Tisha Green? So that's kind of a complicated question, but I guess the simple answer is that I'm a family woman, I'm a businesswoman. I'm a community servant, and I'm a loyal friend. So I grew up here in the Los Angeles area in the Baldwin Hills neighborhood. And then after going to undergrad and law school at Howard University in Washington, DC, I returned to LA and bought a home in the beautiful Baldwin Hills Estates where I've been a homeowner for more than 20 years. So, my affinity for real estate it was probably born out of my real property class in my first year of law school so i was one of the few students who was kind of intrigued by all of these arcane property laws and cases and then it was that intrigue that then led me to accept a position with a huge international law firm who is based here in los angeles and i joined their commercial real estate and finance practice And then I transitioned into a regional law firm, real estate law firm, and I joined their joint venture and development team. So with both firms, it was really exciting at the time. I felt like I was super intellectually stimulated as an attorney, and I was excited to work on all these iconic LA projects. Um, We helped to develop the Marina Point um, apartments in Marina Del Rey. We helped to, you know, Uh, put together the deal for Playa Vista, which was only like wetlands at the time that, you know, this was going on when I was a young attorney. And now it's like this thriving community of, um, you know, retail, commercial and residential. Um, And then also I worked on a development in Inglewood that I have a lot of friends who live in, the Inglewood Renaissance. So those things, while those things were fun to work on in terms of being on those deals, um, as I labored as an attorney and as I kind of grew in the practice, I started to get really unfulfilled. And so working for the corporate clients and working these grueling like attorney hours, it just started to like really wear on me. And I had gotten my broker's license while I was practicing law. I just happened to get it thinking maybe I'll save some money one day when I buy another property. And I didn't know that I was going to use it as a career, but that is, you know, as I started to turn and and become unfulfilled practicing law and I had this, um, this license for, you know, uh, opening up a real estate brokerage shop. That's exactly what I did. And in 2004, LA Vision Properties was born. So I know it sounds cliche, but it's really the people. Um, I have been really blessed to be in service to so many people to help them buy a home, hundreds of folks to help them buy a home, sell a home, strategize about what it is that they can do in their lives with real estate to make their lives better. So it's really that service that really brings me joy and um, working with people and creating those relationships to help those clients make some of the most impactful decisions of their lives. So, you know, it also just feels good to do good. And so most of my clients I create relationships with that last beyond the deals that we work on and that too enriches my life. So the most notable distinction is that I've got a lot of tools in my toolbox. And what I mean by that is that I have a lot of expertise in real estate, which runs deep and wide. And so in addition to my legal background and sales background, I've also been a mortgage broker, a appointed area planning commissioner. 
Um, I'm a real estate investor and also a land use community advocate. So in all of those various roles, which are all real estate related, um, I've got like a big breadth uh, and, and, and layers and dimensions of real estate expertise and knowledge. And so that really comes in handy for my clients and, and it's being able to identify those issues, to forecast what those issues might be in their transactions that really gives us a leg up so that we can prepare for more successful transactions. And in addition to that, it's all of that experience that also leads me into like a long Rolodex of contacts and referrals. So even if I am strategizing with a client and it's and a sale or a purchase is not something that we deem to be in their best interest at that time i'm going to you know refer them to somebody who can help them so if i can't help them i probably know somebody who can and like i said before it's really the people that draws me into what i do and so i'm super passionate about investing the time to make sure that they're educated, that they are well connected with the connections that I have, that I, uh, you know, I've thoroughly researched things to kind of, you know, kind of offset any potential for issues down the road so that we front load the work so that on the back end, we're more successful in the end. So if you're looking to buy, sell, or invest in real estate, I'm the broker who will have your back and set you up for success in turning your vision into realty.